Hi, in this video we will develop the understanding of isoquants by using Microsoft Excel. Let us see that how we can do this. Before we begin, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so that you receive all the new videos for better learning. Now we have the Cobb Douglas production function for which we are going to make the isoquants. Primarily we have A which is the efficiency parameter and we have alpha which represents the exponent of capital and 1 minus alpha would be the exponent of labor. So these two values uh, will be substituted and we will get the production function map. Here we have output which will be uh, taking place in this way starting from this point and it will increase up to this level. From left to right we have capital here and from top to bottom we have labor. So now we are going to see the formula that we have applied. We have started labor and capital both with zero just to make it an exhaustive uh, set of possibilities. Now let's look at this formula that will give us the value of production with all the combinations of capital and labor. Here we have this formula. Uh, it suggests that we are going to multiply the efficiency parameter with cap capital that is this red box and then the power of capital is here 0.5 and it will be multiplied with labor here and then its power would be here. So in this way we will be able to calculate the value of production. The point to be noted is that we have two dollar signs here because the efficiency parameter will remain fixed for all the points of production so we are fixing the column as well as the row and same is the case with the power of capital that is alpha there are two dollar signs fixing the row as well as column and here again we are fixing the row and column with the help of the dollar signs however the labor and capital values respectively uh, in reverse order this is labor and this is capital are fixed only for their row and column. If we talk about capital, its value is in the seventh row, this row. So we have to fix the seventh row. This is why dollar sign appears before seven, whereas F doesn't remain the same. Uh, we don't have to fix it. It will be uh, changing from one column to another. We will see that in this uh, cell, it will be G dollar seven. So the main thing is that we are fixing the seventh row here. And the values of labor, they are in this column, which is the column E. So here we can see for labor, column E is fixed, whereas the row number is not fixed. Now, if I come to the second uh, cell beside it, you see that again, seven row is fixed, whereas the eighth column is again fixed. Other symbols, that is G and eight, they are changing and they will change throughout this set of uh, possibilities. Again, the seventh row and the eighth column is the same. So here we see that we have this formula again, seventh row and eighth column. So in this way, you can see all these, or you can pause the video and see the change in the formula accordingly. You can copy paste the formula, but you have to be savvy of how it was constructed. Now, once we have done this, again, the answers are easy to obtain. If I increase the efficiency parameter to 2, the results will change and I will get this map in which the um, production values will be obtained. If I make it 0.5, then the values will decrease. As you can see, the values have declined substantially. And I'm making it 1 again. And here we have uh, 0.3. For instance, I have applied this formula because if alpha is 0.3, then uh, 1 minus alpha would be 1 minus E3 because it is in E3. So it will be calculated automatically. Only these two values are to be given and we will get the whole map of the production function. Now we are going to flip this map uh, so that it becomes more similar to the isoquant map. So you see that I have uh, made another um, map and I have made it uh, in a flipped way. Here the output is increasing as we are moving from this point to higher points from left to right and output uh, the capital is also increasing from left to right 
and the labor is increasing from bottom to top and here we are now uh, the values have been taken from this map and we have flipped them from um, bottom to top so you see the 10 is appearing here now the benefit of doing this is to see that there are some common values for example 2.4 it is appearing four times then 2.8 and again it is appearing four times 6.3 for example one of the highest values four times there are other values as well for example 9.5 and again 9.5 8.9 these are some values that are also there and they are getting repeated but i have chosen only those values that appear at least four times so as to get a, a more wholesome idea of how the iso quant will look like otherwise this is also looking like an iso quant if we consider this um, flow. Uh, now let's talk about this red line um, uh, line of values. For example, you see that it's having a shape of an isoquant. Again, this is also having a shape of an isoquant. The light green color, then this brown color, then this dark brown color, and this orange color, and this yellow color. You see that if we follow the colors, we get various isoquants. So this is how the isoquant is uh, developed uh, when we have these lines like this you can compare it and see that how these isoquants are engendered actually with while using the various points of production where the output is the same that is 2.4 and here 6.3 so i hope you have benefited from this video and if you have liked it then click the thumbs up and thank you